Last week, the bomb and arson unit disposed of confiscated fireworks in a container specifically designed to accommodate such explosions. And while beautiful to watch, that is what they are. Bombs with colors. Master Detective Mike Lester. With the fireworks season coming, you just have to remember that fireworks are dangerous regardless whether they're professional fireworks or, or commercial fireworks that you could buy at any stand. They're dangerous for anyone to use and you just have to use caution when you use them. I would leave fireworks in the hands of professionals. Uh, even when you buy fireworks at the fireworks stand, they're, they're still explosives, they're still powerful, and every year we have several people hurt in the city. The Kansas City Police will be enforcing the city ordinance regulating the use of fireworks within the city limits. Captain Ty Grant has this reminder. There is an ordinance uh, against anybody to possess, sell, or explode fireworks in the city of Kansas City. So obviously it's loud, it makes a mess in the city. Um, they can be dangerous, but it helps prevent fires and, and other type of property damage in the city as well. Uh, according to the ordinance, officers can confiscate the fireworks, at which time, if, if we do that, we'll destroy them. The fine includes a, up to a $500 fine and up to six months in jail. Fireworks in the city of Kansas City are illegal, and uh, um, by all means, enjoy yourselves, but understand that the fireworks are illegal, and if the police officers see them, they can confiscate them. An issue not often considered is the liability risk a person takes when shooting fireworks in neighborhoods. The cost may be far greater than the maximum $500 fine. We spoke with Farmer's Insurance agent, Brad Newcomer. The fine that you may get for shooting fireworks would be relatively small compared to um, the ramifications with your insurance. If you're outside and you're shooting fireworks, um, and within the city it is illegal to do so, um, if you inadvertently burn your neighbor's house down, you're going to have coverage on your homeowner's policy, uh, liability coverage that will cover the damages. However, if your policy does not cover the extent of damages, you can be out of pocket that difference. Even though your insurance covers it, down the road you may be looking at potential rate increases due to the claim. Uh, you could even potentially be looking at a non-renew situation where they decide not to renew your policy. It's real simple. Um, if the city says we are not to shoot fireworks in the city, we're not to possess them, then don't. Um, if you want to be responsible and shoot fireworks, go to an area designated to do so or go watch a display. That surely will, will help with your insurance premiums. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe but fun 4th of July and leave the fireworks to the professionals.